agency how may i help you hi mr powers it's nancy drew yes miss drew what can i do for you do you have many employees working for you at worldwide only two you and maddie oh, oh yes and, and a temporary stage hand it's been difficult finding adequate talent these days do you know where i can find this stage hand i haven't seen him around i'm not sure when he's scheduled to work next Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. It was a pleasure to be of service. Good day, Miss Drew. George. Hey, Nancy, what's new on the case? I'm not sure what I should do next. I'm not sure, but I know you'll find out. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. going well i'm getting along so far okay i'll let you get back to your sleuthing be careful i love you this is bess hi bess it's nancy hello any new developments on the case Lillian must have been the one who sent Rick those threats. I found a bottle of castor oil and the number for a chocolate shop in her drawer. So she put the castor oil in Rick's chocolates to make them taste bad? Boy, that's a dirty trick. But that doesn't mean she sent the other threats. Or does it? I found the sound mixer, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Try to see if you can hear the person's real voice on that bomb tape. Or else, see if you can hear anything else on that tape that would give away the maker's identity. I found an employee badge for an Owen Spader in the Lost and Found. See if you can track this guy down. Try looking him up in the personnel files. Dwayne's agency is not doing so well. I found all of these outstanding bills. I also found several checks that Maddie wrote to Dwayne. <laughs> well, that pretty much clears Dwayne, right? I mean, if Rick leaves Light of Our Love, that could seriously jeopardize the show. If the show is canceled, then Dwayne would lose his contracts there. I found out that Owen Spader worked at the same theater where Dwayne and Maddie met. You know, employment records can easily be falsified. Find out more information on him. I'm sure Maddie would have known him. Have you asked Lillian about him? Oh, Bess, this is awful. I just got a phony bomb threat in the mail. The villain must know you're hot on the trail. But how? Oh, Nancy, don't give up now. You've got to solve this mystery before it's too late. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? to make this work.
coincidence? Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? Not much, but I'll call you when I find out more. Bye, George. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. Entrez-vous. Hello, Miss Drew. I see you can't get enough of me. Do I drive you wild? Tell me, Rick, do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. <laughs> don't break my heart, love. Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Stay beautiful. It's open! Have you found anything out yet? Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg! It's you again. What do you want? Well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. Lillian, I have reason to believe you're the one threatening Rick. I know for a fact you sent him those chocolates. Is that so? Well, I have every reason to kick you off this set. Where do you get off telling me what you think? I'll be calling your agent to let him know we no longer require your services. Get out of my office! It's open! Hello, young lady. Do you know where I can find Owen Spader? He's a stagehand, I believe. Good luck finding him. I've yet to meet him face to face, even though he signs out props all of the time. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day. Hey, taxi. Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way. agency how may i help you hi mr powers it's nancy drew yes miss drew what can i do for you i'm afraid i've upset lillian did she call about terminating my employment with the studio yes she did she was very upset she said you accused her of having something to do with rick's threats to tell you the truth i think you're onto something there i had my suspicions about lillian for quite some time that is why I've asked Mr. Pappas to keep you on with Worldwide. What are your suspicions? I really believe the stress of the show and her past relationship with Rick may have pushed her over the edge. Just be careful, and don't believe everything she says. Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. Goodbye, and good luck.
Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Hello? Hi, it's me! Hi! How's it going? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. George Fain. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Bess, it's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? Lillian just kicked me off the set. Oh, no. Well, as long as you have your employee pass, you're still free to get around, right? I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Young lady, I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day. It's open. Have you found anything out yet? No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Entrez-vous.
Hello, Miss Drew. I see you can't get enough of me. Do I drive you wild? Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Au revoir, mademoiselle. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! George. Hey, Nancy, what's new on the case? I'm not sure what I should do next. I'm not sure, but I know you'll find out. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Lady. 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Fain. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Hello? Hi, it's me. Hi. How's it going? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? Lillian just called me. She wants me to meet her at the studio. Do you think I should go? Definitely, but be careful. This may very well be the end to your mystery. You should be safe as long as the security people are there. Call on them if you need them. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. I see our Miss Snoop has shown up. Lillian, I think you should leave your act to professionals. I can see right through you. Yeah, well, I hope you can see through the act of whoever's sending these letters because I just got one. Right. How am I supposed to believe that? You think you're so smart. Well, here it is. Proof positive. Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? 
You must know. It has to be Dwayne. Dwayne Powers? But why on earth would he... With his intense hate of Rick, doomed financial situation, and that clever disguise as Owen Spader, Dwayne had every motive and opportunity to commit these threats and traps. That is correct, Ms. Drew. And now for the bonus round. Name the washed-up director and interfering actress who will be dead in a matter of minutes. Hurry up, contestants. Time's running out. It's him! Up in the control room! And he's locked us in! Lillian, hide! Why, hello, Ms. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've trapped both of you. Your death will make a wonderful end to Act One. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax of this little soap opera I've produced. I'm calling it One Death to Die. Dwayne, this isn't a soap opera. You're dealing with real people. Real life is a soap opera. You'll learn that. Or rather, you would have learned that had you lived. Dwayne, there's still time to let us go. Please, don't do this. Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm going to write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Ms. Drew. We've been looking for. Congratulations, Nancy. You've solved the case. Way to go, Ralph. Forget about it. Dwayne's in the right hands now. Case closed. Dear Bess, another mystery solved. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy. <laughs>